Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two. Hit hard down the right field line, but a foul ball. Full count now, three and two. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. From the belt, the pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That is third. The designated hitter. Number 56. Standing in now, Ryan O'Hearn. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And that's a base hit into center field. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2 0 ball game. That is four. The right field is a 12. Jorge in is Jorge Soler. As he'll take a look at ball one. Yanked on the ground down the line. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. That is him. The left fielder of the third. Alex Gordon. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Hit softly down the line at first. Reined in. Marte for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. At the plate, Salvador Perez. And a great chance here for Kansas City to add on in just the first inning. From the belt, the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Calhoun giving chase. But he won't get there. It falls in. Oh, and he throws it away. The first baseman, number 17, Hunter. Hunter Dozier digging in now. In the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. Perez is off of first with two away. Fastball just a bit low here. He's behind 2 0 now. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Now the 2-1 pitch is a changeup that gets him off balance for a strike. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Grounder down the line at third. He's got it. Off balance throw, gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. So digging in now, Cattell Marte. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half of the first. The shortstop, Cattell Marte. The pitch. 
late swing there at the breaking ball must have been looking for something else. Late decision to swing that time and as a result it's 0 and 2. He's got to find a way to set his sights down but if I'm the pitcher I continue to climb that ladder until he makes an adjustment. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. Now to the plate, David Peralta. The left fielder, David Peralta. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0-2. Popped him up. Perez is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in, Edwin Encarnacion. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Encarnacion. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. There is a base open here, so the option to work around him is there if they want to go that route. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Michael Franco. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Slap hard the opposite way. Calhoun is there to put it away for route number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next the speedy D Gordon. First pitch of the at bat. High in the air out to center field. LoCastro is there, two gone. Back to the top of the order now. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that just misses the pool as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The batter, the center fielder, with Merrifield. With Merrifield next to hit. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over.
ready to go for the last half of the inning and digging in is the outfielder Jose Martinez hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started the wind up and the 0 1 lined hard toward right center and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. 0 oh, 2 pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command, 1 and 2. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Into the box, Carson Kelly. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Gordon is there. He's got it one away. Digging in, Yandy Diaz, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and it's gone <laughs> stepping in now Tim LoCastro as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one Diamondback center fielder with a friendly 2 0 count. Two and one. Three runs already home here. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. So there on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and striding forward the designated hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. This is popped up. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And another foul ball. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble that a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Jorge. 
Michael Lamb. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. To one and two now. Here's the pitch. And right into the shift. On to first, and there were two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Gordon. Alex Gordon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. The tag, and he is out. Bottom of the inning now, and up next the outfielder David Peralta. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Peralta. Nope. At this time. The 1-0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. He's got it one away. At the plate, Eduardo Escobar. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Eduardo Escobar. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And that one is gone. The designated hitter, Edward Encarnacio. Edwin Encarnacion now. Lined to second where it's caught there for out number two. Now back. Stepping eight. into the box, First Jose day. Martinez. He singled his Martinez. last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold oh back. It's down. strike one. Oh. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike oh, no. two. Yeah. Two out, nobody on. And he popped him up. Mundesey into shallow center. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. 0-1 count and the pitch. Perez tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. After it is Peralta. He makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Dozier. First delivery to him on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Well, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now that's Striding into the box, Michael Franco hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Peralta will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Settling in now, Cole Calhoun. He'll lead Leading things off, off here in this one-run contest. The right field. Cole. First pitch coming, here it is. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Weak grounder back to the mound. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Carson Kelly. He flew out in his last at bat. Kelly. Pitch on the way. Grounded weakly toward third. Reined in. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Striding in once again, Yandy Diaz. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Gordon is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly stepping into the box D Gordon so far 0 for 1 with a fly out ready with the first pitch here it comes swing and a miss on the slider nothing in one down and away ball one one and one And he popped him up. And this will land foul. One and two. Here it comes. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third. And no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Pulled toward right center field. Calhoun has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Line drive to center field, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now that the center fielder with Merrifield. With Merrifield next to bat, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Foul. The 1-1 one, one home. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play to two balls and two strikes now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calhoun is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about Calhoun. trying to move up. Number 66. Into the box now. Ryan O'Hearn. A hit and two tries for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. 
Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. Mondesi rounds the corner and is headed home. He is safe at the plate, and they've tied it. The right field the play. Jorge Soler. Into the box now. Jorge Soler. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll score the go-ahead run from second to make it 5-4. to four. The left field. Merrill Kelly takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. In now, Alex Gordon popped him up. Escobar in foul ground, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Tim LoCastro. First pitch on its way. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Now batting, shortstop, Mattel. Hey. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. Ball one to start the at-bat. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Coming to the plate now, David Peralta, one for two in the ball game thus far. He's set. Here it comes. Runners off for second. He swings and misses. Throw down, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Oh, and one count and the pitch and it's fouled away. He's going, he's going. There at second. Here's the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Another oh and two coming. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. So stepping in, Eduardo Escobar, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So, And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Salvador Perez. Salvador. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Pops this one up. And that's in there, base hit. The first baseman, number 17, Hunter Dozier. To the plate now, Hunter Dozier. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swings through it for strike number two. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The one two hit high and deep to right center on the move is Calhoun. But it's over his head and jumps the wall for a ground rule double and this game is tied. 
Like at the plate now, Michael Franco, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. And there's one away. Runner at second, one away. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Gordon. First offering on its way. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. A one count. Here's the pitch. Throw in time at first for out number two. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Mondesi. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 2. Two outs here with a runner at third. 1 and 2, the counts of the Royals shortstop. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Edwin Encarnacion can lead it off as we start the home sixth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And 0-2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. So they're going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in, Jose Martinez. And he's been a bit of a diamond in the rough. Though he's only a bronze player, he's got one of the better contact hitting attributes you'll see. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees. One and one. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Standing in now, Cole Calhoun. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Fouled away. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Now batter. Digging in to try it again. Carson Kelly. Kelly. From the stretch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. A runner on first with two away. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Struck him out. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next it'll be the outfielder, Whit Merrifield. The center fielder, Whit 
Merrifield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. LoCastro comes on now, and he has it one down. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Ryan O'Hearn. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Six runs, ten hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. This is popped up. Kelly is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in and looking for more, Jorge Soler is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch of the at bat. The 1 1. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to hump up on a fastball and sailed on. Hit hard up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Center fielder, number 16. Tim. So now to the plate, Tim LaCastro. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Diaz is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a one-run ball game. The batter number four. Patel. Marte. Into the box now. Patel Marte fouled off. Comes set and the 0-1 on the ground to the right side. And that's a base hit as the run will score to tie our ball game at six apiece. Now back, left fielder, oh, okay. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Lovely. Into the box, David Peralta, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now batter, third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar standing in as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 1. 
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, this team, they're swinging everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that misses for ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. So a big spot here. Base is loaded, nobody out, and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. And that misses for ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. Dozier is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Set and the pitch. One out. The one zero home. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Alex Gordon. First delivery to him on the way. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. And, A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. One ball, two strikes, count. The 1-2. Grounded to the right, scooped up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now with the plate, Salvador Perez. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here comes the first pitch. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And he falls behind 0-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calhoun on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Coming to the plate now. Hunter Dozier is working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. In now, Michael Franco. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Now the 0-2. Oh, that turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Tried to hold up there, appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. 
two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that will bring in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Cole Calhoun. The right fielder. Calhoun. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here it comes. Inside, ball one. Hit back up the middle. And that'll be a base hit, so it's a pinch hit single here to get him started in the home half of inning number eight. Now batting, Kepner, Parkville, Kelly. Wyatt Matheson will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting to the diamond ball. Number 76. Wyatt Matheson. Jesse Hahn now takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Jesse Hahn. Christian Walker come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Out in front of it, strike one. There goes Margo. Pitches a cold strike, the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. You have one job in this situation especially down 0 2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Christian Walker is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Yandy Diaz is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. On sets, here comes the pitch. Tim LaCastro swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A ball and two strikes now. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. From the stretch, the one two.
hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, D. Gordon. D. Gordon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Liner toward right center. On a base hit. So a great start to the ninth as the possible go-ahead run is aboard to kick off the inning. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. The shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. Stepping in now, Adalberto Mondesi as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. So far, two for three in this one. One count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So a big moment in the ball game here. Whit Merrifield. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. from the dugout comes it looks like they're going to put him on intentionally so that'll set up the double play possibility with one away Andrew Chafin takes over on the mound in a tie ball game there is one gone here in the top of inning number nine Bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. Here's the first pitch. Now it's driven the other way with some authority. Headed toward the foul pole. This is going to kick off the fence now out in front of the Arizona bullpen. The right field is a Jorge. To the plate now, Jorge Soler, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one. Chafin has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. At the plate, Alex Gordon. He was a ground out victim last time up. Gordon. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And a half hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. I understand wanting to be aggressive, but I also understand that you can occasionally be foolish. 
That's a foolish swing right there. This guy's been. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up the Leading infielder, Cattell the Marte. Not your stop. Cattell. Marte. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. The Diamondbacks find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many now facets back. to the game, Let's defense, base running. It's Thank just you. not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. So now to the plate, David Peralta, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Got him out of his front foot. It's 0-2. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 0-2 once more. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, two once more. He is swung on and missed strike three. Now at the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, one and oh. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, the designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. The bouncer to the left side. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now batter. So striding in, Jose Martinez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And that one swung on and missed 0 1. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Arizona down to its last strike. Oh, and two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now. Struck him out. So a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base. And the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Royals came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Jesse Hahn is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals, seven runs on 13 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Diamondbacks, Six runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 37 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance. 48,686. The Diamondbacks.